Okay class, I didn't prepare anything for today because life just sucks. So why don't you all add the numbers from 1 to 100 or something like that. A few moments later. Yes, Gauss, what is it now? I'm done. What? What do you mean you're done? You're like 10 years old. How did you manage to add them up so quickly? Well, actually, I'm 7, and yes, I can. You see, if I take the smallest number, 1, and the largest number, 100, and add them together, I get 101. And this is true for the next numbers, 2 and 99, and 3 and 98, and so on. And you okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, if you really think you're that cool, why don't you teach the whole class what this is then? Really? Well, okay. If we do this for all the numbers from 1 to 100, we see that we get 100 pairs of 101. But we can see that each number was repeated once since we did 1 plus 100 and 100 plus 1. So to remove all the repeats, let's just divide by 2. So we end up doing the sum of 101 a total of 50 times. So let's multiply them together and we get 5050. No way, he's right. And what's awesome is this is true for any arithmetic sequence. If we want to add n terms in a sequence where the first term is a and the last one is l, then we can just add those two together to get this repeated value just like with 101, and then multiply by the number of terms in the sequence and divide by two to get rid of the doubles. And let's rewrite this to make it neater. But don't we know what the last term will be? Yep, we already have a formula for the nth term, which is a plus n minus 1d, where d is the common difference, or the amount that we're increasing by. So if we substitute this into the equation, we get the formula for the sum of the first n terms in any arithmetic sequence. That's amazing! And you're only 7 years old! Huh, who knows, maybe this regular Monday morning will go down in history.